Hello once again everyone. Brett back out the toot scale modeling with another spur review. This time we are looking at a special hobby 148 scale. Lori? Lor? Lori? Lori? 130 CI Colonial. Special hobby kits have good reputations, have bad reputations. It depends on you listen to. They're either easy, they're either hard, they're impossible to build, they're wonderful to build. I say build one and decide for yourself. I'm here to show you the plastic and the little bits that come with it. The box doesn't tell you what you get with it, but you know being special hobby, you are going to get some resin, maybe some PE, and a unique subject. I've never seen a kit of this before, but I'm going to build it because I love seaplanes. So. Let's open it up. We've got instructions right at the top. We've got one bag of parts. And the decals are in that. So let's see what's in it. Decals we'll look at. Clear parts we'll look at. Here's the bag of resin I was talking about. And you have all bagged together, unfortunately. One, two, three, four sprues. I do not know if this is someone else's kit or their own kit. But I'd say it's their own kit because being a special hobby, they do not use attachment points. However, the riveting and recessed panel line detail on this is very nice. On the floats, on the fuselage, there's a little bit of panel line detail in here, a little instrument detail there, but you've got, I'm not sure if these are attachment points or ejector pin marks, I'm thinking the way they're melted, they're ejector pin marks. And more detail here, but let's start here. Very nice, in scale looking rivets and panel lines. All around. They wrap around nicely. Sorry, a little bit of dust on there. A little bit of flash here, but you know, these are all short run kits. Some more good detail on the pontoons. I'm pretty sure those are the pontoons for the wings. So, good detail. Turn it over. There's a little instrument detail, some lines. Here's what I'm talking about about these things here. I'm pretty sure they're ejector pin marks because you can see they're kind of melty. We'll check the instructions to be sure before we clean them up. No attachment points, so you have to carefully take care of that even on these. But we are modelers, a little patience, a little time, no problem. Let's look at some wings. Again, I'm pretty sure these were fabric wings. There's stitching in them. Or if they're not, they've got nice stress skin on them. Wonderful texture. Well, these wings look great. Wow. So, I think this just moved up to the higher up on the 2019 build list. There's a little bit of rigging, but not a lot. You're going to want to clean up all these ejector pin marks because they're all raised. So clean all those up to make sure you get a good fit in your wings. But yeah, the detailing, whether that be where your stitching holds it together or rivets, if that's stressed skin, that's even more amazing. Because there's a lot of companies that don't do stress skin when they should. Here we have the props. Um, I'm thinking horizontal stabilizers, engine nacelle, struts for the wing. There's a little bit of rigging. I don't know if I already said that, but there is a little bit of rigging. Again, lots of big ejector pin marks. Again, short run kit, it's to be expected. It's one of the complaints people have who don't like special hobby is 
the level of work you got to put into it. Now these don't have any rivets. I'm not sure it's because they're fabric and they're stretched over or if they just left it out. There's all those massive ejector pin marks on the other side. But the props look really nice. No real flash. No burring. No burring on the struts. No burring on the props. A little tiny bit of flash on the end of a couple of them. But just a little bit. Alright. And the final sprue of regular parts. Antennas, looks like some panels for the cockpit, some more strut work, a walkway, so again, nice detail, I'm assuming this is the back of the engine. Good detail in all these parts. I just found this vacuum form part for something. We shall find out. Let's look at this bag of resin. I said no photo etch that I've seen, but I got us a bag of resin. In this bag of resin, we've got some nicely detailed parts. A couple of nice seats with seat belts. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a very nice detail. Uh, radio control boxes. Another radio control box. I think that's a spinner for the prop. And it's like a side panel for the cockpit. And instrument panel. A couple other parts. Very nicely built resin. Remember, when working with resin, we're protection, so you're not breathing it in. Let's take some control sticks and those look like exhaust tips, hollowed out, so you can hollow them out some more. Doesn't have a detailed engine. And oops, sorry. Some more detailed parts. And some more. Not sure what all these are. There's some more exhaust tips for the other side. And I'm thinking these are rudder pedals. Okay. Put all this back. Prison's soft and can be damaged easily if you've never worked with it. But when you're cutting things off, use a fine tooth saw or fine sandpaper so you don't get big chunks of dust. Wear a mask, do it outside if you can. Wet down your workstation if you think that'll help for you better. Anything to keep the resin dust from flying through the air and getting in your lungs. And lastly, the clear parts. And a resealable bag, which is nice. Soft bag, too. Not all that cranky plastic. Actually, for a short run kit, it's got raised framing. I did not look to see if Edward makes parts for this. So, I mean, judge for yourself. Looks pretty clear to me. Seems like it all looks really well, nicely detailed. So, clear parts, you get a 
plus for me. Decals in register. Another nice soft bag. Printed by Cartograph. Don't need to say any more. I like like the dragon on there. Um, Argentina is that who's got the anchor for their navy? I think so. But they're not overly thick. They're made by Cartograph, as I said. No, no more needs to be said about that. And we've got our instructions. Check English. Here's your little English story of the aircraft. Freeze it and read it if you'd like. Lori Colonial. French Navy. That explains the name. Let's see. Some catcher's machines were evaluated by the German Luftwaffe. This was made in 1933. Not the kit, the actual aircraft. Sprue maps, color callouts, which is using guns. So that's Mr. Color. And Hobby Aqueous, so either one. There's your symbols, nice colored directions, you're not using that one. That one part there, you're not, two parts there you're not using. And it's giving you numbers for all your resin, which obviously aren't on the parts. Apparently there's a gun in there which you're not using. So you're starting with the seat. What you've got, and I don't remember if you saw from the box. Let me show you. Pilot, behind the pilot, and then a guy sticking out up here at the top. So pilot seat front and back instrument panel side panels this is a seat as well I thought I wasn't sure what that part was it's a seat so like I said you got your seat belts molded in your rudder pedals control sticks so I'm guessing pilot and co-pilot except this one it looks like it's got rudder pedals but no control stick that would be weird Side windows, floor panel, more side panels in detail, clear windows, there's all your radios going there, there's your two seats again on this side and everything else is on that side. It's got your nice color call outs, so, okay, so wood brown, um, E for the interior. Oops, turn the page before I read it. Grayish blue is the color of the interior. There you go. There's all your layouts of all your resin parts. Nice side view there. It's showing you how to put them in there, but this is showing you exactly how they lay out. Good touch. Your horizontal stabilizers that actually have vertical stabilizers, small ones attached to them. There you go. Another info view, they call it. So, knock it as you will, the directions are very good. This looks like the intake for the engine. Okay. And then you've got your exhausts on the side. So you're building up, not the engine of course, but around the engine. There's your instrument panel. There's your clear parts, there's your top part. So the instrument panel is for this guy here, who must be sticking out the front. So this must actually be the pilot. So why this guy has rudder controls, I don't know. Oh, you got different versions, so camo A only gets that part. You do have some rigging, as you can see right here, which is an info view again. There's a one wire there. Ruster struts, it looks like. And there's your other wing and your pontoon. That's how it looks. And putting the engine on. This is going to be some delicate fiddly work with all these struts and everything. 
Now, me personally, I would paint the aircraft and the engine separate and put them together. So here's your final touch. This is how it looks. How it should look as you get it together. And you got color callouts. This one, uh, based in Saigon. This one, ooh, I like the green and red. Based in French Indochina, 1944. I like that. That's really neat. This one has a dragon on it, though. This one has the dragon on it. This one's just got a really nice color and whatever. Maybe another dragon. And this one, Tripoli. Salvage, tugged to Tripoli and received a new engine. So it was based in Tripoli in 1941. The engine failed and the crew was forced to land on rough seas. So this one actually has a story with it. And it's got nice coloring too. And there you go, another nicely colored one. Here's the decals. So it looks like the decals. No, there's not enough. You have to paint all of that. Except the tail markings. This one, Lesser Antilles Martinique. So. There you go with your Gunsanyo's Hobby Colors again. But you are going to have to be taping and masking and painting to get that. I'm thinking that one though. Looking really good. Anyway, there you go. Special hobby kit. I've never built a special hobby kit. I've heard good things, bad things. I probably have five special hobby kits. This may be the first, just because it's such a unique looking aircraft. And I've never seen it before, and I've never seen any built ones before either. So that would inspire me. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this brew resin review of a special hobby kit. Now get your ass in the seat and start building some models.